Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know and today's situation is a haul and a vlog. I recently went to Los Angeles and I really thought that I was going to be better at vlogging but turns out I just got a lot more montage clips. I did still want to show you a bit about the trip, what I did and that type of stuff but I figured I would make this video a little bit more interesting by mixing in a haul. So I'll show you the things I bought as well as some of the things that we did while we were there. I went on this trip with my boyfriend to visit one of his best friends and his best friend's wife who live in LA. We are so lucky to have them live there because of the great weather and that they let us stay at their place which of course saves a ton of money. The first day was just a travel day of course. We flew from Calgary straight into Los Angeles. So the airport is so much bigger than I'm used to so we had to take a shuttle bus to then get to our Uber to then take the Uber across LA. So a great, great travel day nonetheless. Like I just mentioned, we stayed at our friend's apartment, which is this really cute loft studio, and we slept on a mattress in the room. Then we went up to the rooftop just to take a bit of a tour of their apartment. It was absolutely lovely. I am so jealous this is where they get to live. And then we decided to just go walk around the area. There was a lot of shops to check out, restaurants, things like that. And we had to go to Barnes & Noble because my boyfriend loves books. Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know and today's situation or this week's situation is being in Los Angeles. So this is the first check-in that I'm doing. I've been here for less than 24 hours but basically me and my boyfriend are visiting some of our friends that live here. We are currently doing some shopping. Got to go to Maidwell for the first time in my life, loved it. Also, I went to and other stories. Also loved it. This might be more of like a montage type vlog because I don't really know how to like vlog in front of people yet. So we'll see what happens, but make sure to subscribe, like if you're interested and I'll see you in a bit. The first store that I went into was and other stories. This is the first time I've seen anything in person from this brand and I've never looked online. I fell in love with everything in that store. They had such beautiful prints cuts, patterns, everything in there was absolutely gorgeous and stunning, but very expensive. But this is a super lightweight, like maxi dress because I'm so short. It's a floral pattern with some really light pastel spring colors. It has these cute cutouts on the side and then some flowy large sleeves and a keyhole cutout in the back. So I got this on sale. It was only like $40, which again, because of the price of the other stuff, wasn't expecting that. And the second item I got is a set of earrings. I got some gold, matte gold, simple hoop earrings in a kind of medium size and then another pair in a small size. These were about $30, which again, I find to be reasonable. And I do have relatively sensitive ears, but these have not affected me at all. So big fan, I think they're gorgeous. The second place I went shopping that day was at Madewell, which is another place I've never been before. I fell in love with this jacket. It's a little bit thicker, but still lightweight. The material's stretchy and a tiny bit structured, but it's a very cute and dainty jacket, as you can see. It's on the longer side with buttons and slight ruffles around the sleeve and cuff, which I really like. And then it is buttoned up with working pockets and a little bit collared. I think it's super cute, excited to wear for spring. The second item I got was a pair of the perfect vintage wide leg jean in a light wash. I have never tried out Madewell jeans and I absolutely fell in love. The structure, the fit, the comfortability is second to none in any jeans I've had. So I just had to pick these up. So as much as I don't love button up pants or button fly pants, the way that these are showing the top two buttons with that little V is really pretty to me and just takes a little bit of a change on classic jeans as they can all start to look the same. Your girl has entered a jean era and 
love them. After shopping, I needed some food, so we went to In-N-Out, had a classic burger. We didn't get any fries because controversial, but I don't love In-N-Out's fries. Then we ended up going up to the rooftop and going in the pool, actually the hot tub because there's a hot tub and a pool up here at again where our friends live. So lovely afternoon. We just enjoyed a lovely time in the hot tub. Now we're gonna rinse off and then go back downstairs to our friend's apartment and and we're gonna have a barbecue dinner tonight which is gonna be really fun we're gonna barbecue on the rooftop i'll make sure to show you and we ended the evening barbecuing some steaks some corn and really just had a delicious homemade meal and then we also saw a beautiful sunset from the rooftop so first day in la was lovely The next day started out on the rooftop again. We had some breakfast, fruits, croissants, mimosas. Then we got in an Uber to hit the town. We went to this strip that had a lot of thrift stores and just random places for us to check out sightseeing and I loved it there. Happy Saturday. We are out and about looking at little shops, like thrifting and that type of stuff. Very exciting. The next place I bought stuff from was a place called Drescue. This is a secondhand store where people can rent racks and then they sell their curated closets or clothing. And the first item I picked up was this vest. It is literally to die for. It's a little bit niche or a little bit fuzzy, but it's a gorgeous pink color with this red heart pattern. I cannot say much more about it because you can see it, but I'm in love with it and I'm so glad I picked it up. It's gonna be great for all different seasons. Then I got this tank top. It has a square neckline, so I do need to figure out my bra situation with this, but it's like a light blue, green, and white, and just another set of colors that I'm loving for the spring and summer. Super cute, and because I'm so short, I love the cropped and the length that it hits on my pants. I then got this jumpsuit drum suit of my dreams. It is a long sleeve, wide leg, button up jumpsuit with these gorgeous colors. A little bit more autumn as they're darker, but the fit of this absolutely kills me. My butt, I hate to say it, looks incredible. The button up is so cute, the collar is so cute. It's easy to dress up, but also to dress down and wear it casually. So this is one of my favorite pieces in my closet today. And last but not least, I got this stunning leather jacket. It's by Hugo Boss and it's definitely more of a slimming fit. I can do the button ups over my chest, don't come for me, but I honestly would probably wear this open face for the most part anyway. I like a leather jacket open, otherwise I feel like you do kind of start to look like a garbage bag, but I absolutely love the fit of this. I love the quality of this and I could not pass this up. This was definitely a pricey item compared to the other three I got, but it was so worth it for me, so I'm really happy. The best thing about where we were staying is that we could walk everywhere we wanted to go for the most part in terms of restaurants, shopping, groceries. So we started off this day doing a little bit of a walk to the restaurant we were eating at that day. We actually ate here multiple times, but it is the most delicious restaurant I've ever eaten at. And we ended up having a fancy little brunch with some cocktails. We had a pizza breakfast and French toast. The food was incredible. Then the next place I went shopping was Abercrombie & Finch. I live in Canada and they recently got rid of Abercrombie, which is tragic because suddenly they've done this 180 where they're a good company. But I picked up these high rise dad jeans in the Curve Love Fit. I have never found a pair of denim jeans I love as much as these. They are the perfect fit. I don't chafe when I wear them. They're a zipper fly, which is incredible. Pockets are working. The wash is really nice. And you'd be surprised to hear that I just picked these up without even trying them on. I did that whole waist of jeans around your neck thing and they ended up fitting perfectly. 
check out the Curve Love line. There are hits and misses, but definitely check it out. Then from the men's section, I got this button-up polo, I think you would call it. It seems as though polos, knit little sweaters are really in for men. And so when I saw this one, it's like a tennis court type vibe. Couldn't pass it up. The color blocking, the look, the fit, the feel, in love. Wish that my boyfriend had bought it because I think it would look better on him. But since he passed it up, I couldn't pass it up. So now we can just share it since it's in my closet. But yeah, I think that it's a super cute item. Always make sure to check both sides, women's side, men's side, whatever it is when you're shopping, because there can be some great pickups that you see that you wouldn't have seen if you didn't go look. So clothing is clothing. It really doesn't have a gender. On our last full day in LA, we decided to give our friends a bit of a break from us and we went to Santa Monica Pier. Of course, this is a classic to visit when you go to Los Angeles and being near the beach is so lovely to me. So although it was a bit of a windy day and maybe not as hot as Californians would like it, for somebody who is from Canada and it was cold and snowy when I left, this weather was incredible. So yeah, that's it, that's the vlog. Basically, we finished off our day at Top Golf, which you'll see a clip in a moment. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you didn't mind this style of vlog and haul, getting a mix of both, or any other videos that you'd like to see from me. If you did enjoy watching, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.